So, when we're talking section 2.5, we, we're going to have diagrams. And remember when you had the diagram the other day, and you only had two sides of it labeled? What did I say was important to do when you have a diagram? Okay, you got to label all the sides. So here we have this situation, okay? We've got the length of this rectangle, 9 more than the width, and the perimeter is 50. So this takes us back to what is the words more than mean? More than means you're going to do what? Add or subtract. Okay, we're going to add. So, in general here, whatever we're doing more than or less than, that's going to be our variable. So if we're talking the width of our rectangle is our qualifier, what would the variable be that would represent width? So we're going to stick in a W. All right, now based on that, how does the length compare to W if it's nine more than has to be then what w plus nine okay so that's our two situations we don't want to say width is w and length is l we want to say width is w and length is w plus nine so thank you all right so let's take our diagram i've actually drawn you a rectangle i want you to actually go about and do that on your homework I want you to label your sides. So label my four sides here. My short ones are W. My long ones are W plus 9. And there's our four sides. And so this should look similar to what we have going on here. Now, what is another piece of information in the problem up here that we have not used yet? What's the other piece of information? Brett? Okay, so I'm going to put that down here. P equals 50 centimeters. Just as another piece of information I'm trying to pull out of this. I need to write an equation using the perimeter idea and the width and the length. That equation is going to look something like this. Side 1 plus side 2 plus side 3 plus side 4 equals 50. What am I going to put in my four blanks? Talk to me here. What would my first blank be? my four blanks. Matt, can you give me my four? Okay. So W plus nines and my W's. How many total W's do I have? I have four W's. Nine plus nine is 18 equals 50. To solve this going from here, Caroline, where do I go next? All right. Subtract 18 from both sides. So 4W equals 32. Going from there, Felipe? 4 divided by 4. So it seems like W equals 8. How can I make sure that this is right? I'm going to switch colors. What's 8 plus 9? 17. So I'm going to label my four sides. 8. 8, 17, and 17. Let's add these up. Double that, that's 34. Double that, that's 16. What's 34 and 16? 50. Okay, so there we got it. Now, what is the question? We always have to make sure you answer the question. Okay? What's the question? Find the what? length of the sides. So we need to say the width is 8, 8 what? Centimeters. The length is 17 centimeters. So you've got to answer the question when you're doing a story problem like that. Just make sure when you read back to the question, what are they asking us? Okay, answer that question, whatever it is. All right, questions there. All right, let's move down. Look at the bottom one. Kind of uh, pull through this. Underline the important things that you think are in there. What's, what's the most important part in that first line? What would you say? Do I care that it's a rectangle? Okay. What about this four yards more than? 
twice the width. Once again, our rectangle is in terms of what idea? Is it in terms of length or is it in terms of width? In terms of our width, okay? So Noah, thank you, our width is going to be our variable. Whatever you're in terms of, Ashley, that's what you use. If it says it's in terms of the length, then use L. And when you use L, use a capital L because otherwise it looks like a 1. All right, now, my length of the rectangle. Someone give me an expression for what that is. Nate. Okay, whenever you see more than, I like what you said. What you said was right, but I want to always, whenever we see more than, we're going to put the plus 4 at the end. And then you said W2. Typically, are you going to say W2 or are you going to say 2W? All right, excellent. So, there we go. 2W plus 4. All right, so now we label our sides. W, W, 2W plus 4, 2W plus 4. Now, notice how I label my sides. Are you required to make the width the skinny one? No. And I did this intentionally because sometimes we get into this mindset, the width has to be the small one. In this case, it will be, but I didn't label it that way. All right, so we set up our equation. Who can give that to me now? We've done this once. Let's do it a second time. Go, Caroline. W plus W plus 2W plus 4 plus 2W plus 4 equals 56. All right, equals 56. So, there's all our W's. How many total W's do I now have here? I have 6W, good. Plus 8 equals 56. Solving from there, what to both sides? Subtract 8, good. Okay, that leaves me with 6W. Help me with subtraction, someone. 48. Divide by 6. Someone divide for me. 8. So I can say the width is what units of measure am I using? eight yards. But what else do I need? The length is, how do I find the length? Okay, two times eight, so let's just do a little of the work down here. Two times eight plus four. Help me out, somebody. Twenty. So the length is twenty yards. So there, I've answered my question. Can I check this? What's twenty plus twenty? 40, remember that number, Noah. What's 8 plus 8? 16. 16 plus 40 is 56. Did it check? All right, so put a little check mark there, because what does a check mark remind that you've done? It's a physical reminder that we've actually gone through 